All right, welcome back. This is the fourth part and probably final part of this antique baseball glove restoration project. So we've discovered a lot. Now I let it sit overnight with the Horseman's One Step. That's the conditioner I use to get these gloves back to life. Let me see if I have a tub somewhere to show you all. Here we go. This. Horseman's One Step. It's a cream. You find it at any feed store. So when this started out, just to recap, it was dry and crusty and off. It was like just like a like a, like a pale color. It was stiff. Now it's extremely supple and floppy. Check it out. And the best part was I can decipher what company and what model and that made this made a horse hide. So Dunkirk is a Dunkirk glove. Dunkirk was founded. The company was founded in 1900 in Johnstown, New York. That was one of the famous baseball glove cities of New York. Uh, they also made this company Dunkirk made basketballs and footballs. Um, they, throughout the years, they had probably their most famous endorser was Mickey Mantle in the 50s. Mickey Mantle endorsed one of their gloves. Now, this is a 428X. Now, the cool thing is I can't find it online. There's various glove websites, databases. Uh, there's one that devo is devoted all to Dunkirk. There's a whole page of Dunkirk gloves ranging from oldest to newest. And this is not uh, in there that I could see. Now, maybe it means I need to do, do more research, but sometimes when you can't find a glove or a, an item, it may mean it's rare, so that's good. So this, I'm assuming, based upon the design, is early 20s. This is like Babe Ruth era. It's horse hide, which, we can, which I discovered by being able to read the, the text. Uh, the company, we'll see, it closed in 1973. So 73 years of operation, not bad. They produce gloves for other for other companies as well. Again, this is horse hide. So now this glove, I mean, I'm done. I'm, I added the, the lacing. I'm not going to repair the liner. I'm not going to get involved with that. I'm going to leave it as is, I think. So this could be, I mean, you can go out and play, have a catch with this. Now, a gentle one, but a catch nonetheless. And the, the glove is now super soft. A little pocket. The old lacing is so cute. The, the back strap's going to be problematic. you got to be really careful with anti-gloves because these things are torn or they'll tear. It's a real thin, delicate leather back there. And over time, it just gets just extremely worn. So that's, that's it's great. It's, it's a fun project. Anyone that's got an old leather item, leather purses, cowboy boots, I mean, use your imagination. Uh, this Horseman's One Step stuff, I don't work for them or anything. It's not an endorsement video, but it does wonders. When the glove was, you'll notice a, a, a metamorphosis in your in your leather item, because when they're stiff, they're, they'll be a, you know in a frozen position like this, just for example. And then as you add this conditioner, gravity sets in, and then it'll just flop and be like a natural, you know, almost like almost like new texture to the to the glove as far as the 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 suppleness of the leather, the floppiness, it all comes back. So. There you have it. This is the last installment of Antique Baseball Glove Restoration. Thanks for checking in.